this church. I don't advocate that. I think you should sit and experience, huh, and listen for God to why I need to position myself. Huh? And I tell him that. I say because I truly believe that if God placed you here, then I don't have to stroke you here. They didn't get that, did they? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. See, some of them, sister, sister Miller, some of them, you got to speak to them every Sunday or you get mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so they didn't want you got to. <laughs> sure, it looks beautiful. I bless you. But if I miss it next Sunday, Pat, you didn't speak to me. Oh, give me a double hook. I'm so sorry. Some guys, but that's okay. Bathe him. You got to do it. Huh? You got to do what you got to do. You keep feeding them milk so they can handle that meat. Amen. Yeah, it's the truth anyhow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so Paul realized that, and what he said in Psalm fifty-one, three: "For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sins are ever before me." See, see, we are free to choose whether to sin or not, but we're not free to choose the consequences of our sin. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. We can choose the sin or not, but you can't choose your consequences. And another thing I shared with him about, about bringing back honor God's word and tithing, I said, now what we need to understand, the scripture said, when you bring your tithes in, I said, he said he'll open up the window of heaven and pull you out. Bless him. He didn't say pull you out of money. Right. 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 I said, see, see, we box him up all the time. I'm tired of money. He didn't say that. He said, I'm going to pull you out of money. And you know what? And you know what? And you know what? Tell you something else. I may not even see a bunch of changes in my life, mm. but the thing I do, I see there ain't been no deaths and sicknesses in my life. Yeah, blessing. So I'm still being blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's still blessing me. Yeah. And so we gotta quit trying to box him up like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we can choose whether we're sinning or not, but we don't choose the consequences. <laughs> However, looking back, Paul could see Jesus had all suffering in dealing with him. When he messed up big time, God demonstrates his long suffering and offers us the same forgiveness so we too can be used of God. I shared with us earlier in our studies for this semester that, that, that regardless of what you have experienced the hurt and the depth of that hurt and the disgrace and the abuse that you have, God is going to take every one of those incidents and use them mightily in your life to bless others. Uh -huh. they, he's going to use it for a tool. We thought it was damaging to us, and it certainly wasn't enjoyable to us. But God said, all of that I'm going to take and make you a powerful man, a woman of God. If you understand where you are now, don't allow the abuse and the misuse and, and the things that hurt you uh, identify who you are. You are not that. Yes, you were raped by your relative, but you're not that. Yes, you're abused by an ex-husband or wife, but you're not that. We need to understand that. Don't let that identify who you are. You are who God says you are. And once you stand up from that incident, then you can look at it and teach others about it and be the example of how you come through it. Because I tell you, nothing can chase you if you get it in front of you. It can only chase you when you try to hide it. Back there, put it out here. I was abused by my uncle mm -hmm. four years of that. I didn't know I was gonna make it. My man, I, I contemplated suicide, and I hated me, and I didn't want nothing to do with any man but God. But God came into my life. Paul said, and revealed His Son unto me, and showed me another life. And I want you to know that you too can rise above in sexual abuse. Oh, Lord Jesus. I was raped as a boy seven by my cousin for three years. Or you can be, oh, come on. God, take every experience that he allowed you to have in your life and use it for a positive tool to increase you. Amen. 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 All them 12, and the doctor told it about the 12 mighty men before. All them 12 he chose were some rascals, man. <laughs> they were some rascals. Yeah. But one thing about all them 12 men, they were doing something. 